Hey guys, it's Nathan here for another movie review. And, uh, I just popped it out, and I'm, like, shaking because this movie was so creepy. Um, Dark Ride. Um, it's one of the After Dark Warfest movies. One of the eight films to die for. Um, I don't know if it's me or if I've become a pussy now. I don't, I don't know because I have not watched horror movies in a while. So maybe I'm just a pussy now when it comes to horror movies. I don't know. But this movie was freaking, I thought it was scary. Um, it's about these kids. In the beginning, there's these two girls, and they go to this ride, and it's called the Dark Ride. And it's on the Jersey Shore Boardwalk, I think, the north side of the boardwalk. And uh, that's a disc. And um, these girls, these two twins go on it, and um, they get killed. This is in the very beginning. And then you find out in the middle, I mean, sorry, um, in the movie, um, these, these college group of kids go on a road trip, and they end up finding from one, one of their friends that there's this place called the Dark Ride, and they should go stay the night there, so they do, and it all goes downhill from there, and I'm not going to tell you the ending, because it was a twist at the end, and you won't expect it, but, um, I was just, the whole time, I was, I was seriously, like, trying to cover up with my freaking blanket, it was, I don't know, it was crazy, that's a side, but as I said, I'm gonna start showing you guys the sides, um, it was very graphic, um, there was a, Spoiler, if you don't want to hear this, mute it. Um, there was a scene where a cop gets in the building and uh, he's asking if anybody's in there and stuff. And the killer's standing right behind the cop and takes this really sharp blade and like slices the guy's head open right through the middle of his head. And his head kind of just goes and kind of like... Oh, it was so gross. Um, it's rated R for strong graphic horror, violence and gore, sexuality, nudity, language, and some drug content. And it was a pretty long horror movie. It was 94 minutes. So, um, at a, a rate, to give it a rate, I'll say that this was probably a... Okay, for movie-wise, I would probably give it a... 8? For scary wise, I'm gonna start doing that too. I'm gonna do scary and movie rates. If it's like a horror movie, I'm gonna do scary rate. For scary rate, I'll give it. I would probably say 9.5. Like I said, I don't know if it's me. I've I haven't watched horror movies in a really long time. Like, cause normally when I go to the pawn shop now, I have all the movies that they have there. Like all the horror movies that they have there, I I pretty much own them. So, um, I'm kind of running out of movies, so I've been buying comedies a lot here lately. And, uh, this has probably been the first horror movie I've bought in a while. So, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's because I haven't watched a horror movie in a while. Like a, like a new one. I don't know. But I was pretty scared through the whole movie. So, I definitely recommend this. Um, I also recommend... I also recommend, um... Because there's a booklet in here, and I've seen... I've only seen a couple. I recommend Wicked Little Things. And, uh... Penny Dreadful. Um, I was going to buy Wicked Little Things, because I had it there, too. But I decided not to. Um... But, um... Yes, I definitely recommend this movie. It was a pretty good movie. And, uh... Yeah. So... Tomorrow I'll probably do more movie reviews, but I'm pretty done for today.